welcome to the third part. Well, technically on my channel, it's the second one, but in reality, it's the third one since the first one's on my French channel. This, that whole sentence was probably really confusing and I really want to apologize to whoever got confused. But if you didn't, well, congrats. <laughs> Anywho though, in this part, I'll be mainly doing the staircase and working on the outdoor furniture. Mostly gonna spend time working on the furniture outside, but I think there will be like 10 minutes of me just straight up working on that staircase. Which is, by the way, probably one of my most favorite places on this whole house. That staircase, I don't know, I just love the vibe of it. Uh, I'll, I'll talk, I'll talk a little about it <laughs> a little bit later. Uh, but um, yeah, so you may be wondering where I was gone for like a week because I said that I was back. But, you know, I kind of stopped uploading. Well, and that was because um, I went on like an unexpected vacation with my family. And I have a lot of fun stories to tell about it. So I'll, I'll, I'll probably tell one actually today in this voiceover. Uh, but I want to talk about the build a little bit first. Uh, like, not the build itself, more like the furniture and the inspiration behind everything. Because I feel like most, like, this build really required a lot of inspiration and, like, accurate. Like, I just had to be accurate with this interior. It's, like, a very specific style, and, like, every little detail matters, and it, it, it was a fun time working on this build, and, like, I don't know, I feel kind of weird talking about it because I finished it, like, three or four weeks ago at this point. I don't even remember, to be quite honest with you. But um, it's kind of weird that I'm just getting to it, like when it comes to voiceovers and like the speed build. But yeah, I'm not planning on stopping with these speed builds anytime soon. I actually have a lot coming up. And I'm pretty sure you've seen one of the sneak peeks today. Not today, a few days ago. I want to say, well, maybe not even a few days ago. It's been like five days. I mean, I guess you can technically say that it was a few days ago. I don't know. <laughs> But, um, that's for you to decide, I guess. But yeah, yeah, uh, getting back to my point, which was, yeah, just me saying that I have a lot of builds coming up, because I really do. Uh, there's, like, three other builds that <laughs> um, I posted, like, a sneak peek of earlier, like, I want to say a month ago that was. I, I think it was a month ago or so. Yeah, so I'm still actively working on all those free builds, and I really hope I can get them done. And finished very soon. I just kind of want to work on new things and everything, you know. Like some, I just really hate when the whole, when the old builds hold me back from working on new ones. But like I know that if I don't finish these, then there probably won't be a time where I actually we'll get back to old projects. Like you know what I mean? It's like it's a mess. It really is a mess. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I I don't know what else to say. But like it just has to be done. Sadly. But, um, yeah, I, I remember having a really hard time, like, just finding the right furniture to place at the front. Because it's, like, it's so grand, but, like, not at the same time. And it's, like, you have to make it look nice and realistic, and it's, like, how do you do that? So I ended up with, like, um, pl placing, a, like, a custom bench and, like, a few chairs and some boxes and plants. And I feel like I made it work. Uh, here you can see me doing this table that I will eventually re replace in the end. So if you're listening and actually doing this speedboat right now, I, li I highly recommend you do not do that table right now because I'll just replace it with armchairs later on. Uh, that was because of plot beta, of course. We all know that plot beta is my biggest enemy and I literally suck at, I don't know, making things work with plot beta. Like I always reach the plot beta limit when it comes to houses. Like, this house wasn't even big. Like, that's the thing. It's kind of small. And I still ran out plot beta. And I'm just begging and praying that Coaptus eventually decides to have more plot beta. Because it's like, I mean, we, I just need more plot beta. I don't know about other you guys, but I know I need it really, really bad as a builder. And, um, yeah. You, you can see me making this custom chair. And I think I'll eventually make it different what it is right now, I mean, it really isn't that horrible. I mean, I kind of take back my words. It, it could have been more cleaner, because this is, it's messy. It's not the football player, soccer game. <laughs> Sorry, a bad joke. <laughs> but yeah, um, but yeah, like I've said, this whole area is just going to be replaced with sun chairs later because of plot beta. Um, and um, I'll I'll probably be working on this, like, seating area next, which is probably one of my favorites. 
It's just I love the furniture, like the blue color. I don't know, I don't know about you guys, but like, I don't know, I have like mixed feelings um, about like blue furniture in general, like just the color blue. It, it, it's, it's nice, right? But then at the same time, it's like, sometimes it's really hard to make it work. I guess it's like a risky choice they have to make, whether you want to use it or not, but most of the time it comes out worth it. So, I don't know, I guess it depends on everyone, but like I sometimes find it pretty risky to make it work. But, um, yeah, like, like you can see, I'm just trying to make this chair look nice and make it work. And I guess it doesn't look that horrible, but it is really, really messy. And that's because of the angles and everything. I wish it was easier to make, like, furniture on angles and everything, but I guess... I guess now you just kind of have to be happy with what you can do. <laughs> I mean, there are like a lot of things that you can already do in Bloxburg, but you know, there's always room for like more possibilities and whatnot. Um, I don't know, getting back to like The Sims and everything, how I talked about it in the last video, I feel like with The Sims, you can't do as many things, but like the things that you can do, most of the time they take less effort and they look better i don't know because um i guess i can talk about what i was working on the sims and everything for the past like few days like because uh, yeah i got from my vacation on tuesday and it's thursday now so i spent like yes like the whole yesterday just playing the sims and furnishing apartments and building houses so i guess i'll get into it a bit later but, um, yeah, I don't know, these chairs are so... It's like I have a hate and a, like, I hate and I love and I hate relationship with them. Um, but they're clonable. I don't know, making clonable furniture is... Uh, it's a curse and a blessing. It's a curse because it takes so long to make it, but then once you actually make it work, it, it, it feels pretty good. It feels pretty good that you made something work. But yeah, I'm kind of happy about today because the voiceover isn't as long. Uh, this voiceover is only going to be 30 minutes long. And yeah, I tend to run out of things to say. Because it's just like, when you have to talk about like a certain build for like 5 hours, you really run out of things to say, you know? Um, and so that's why most of the time I kind of drift off the build and talk about something else. Because I just literally run out of things to say. Because like... When a speedboat's only like 40 minutes long, it's kind of easy to voiceover, like when it only has a single part as well. Cause like even sometimes you um, don't get to say everything you wanted. And then yeah, with my speedboats, um, I, I ran out of things to say. And I'm really not happy about that, but like I just tried to make it work. Um, and like I know that my videos would probably be kind of boring if it wasn't for um, the voiceovers. And I want to apologize that if you can hear any background noises, that is because my window is open and it is extremely hot today in Lithuania. Um, like it, it's, it's, it's literally, I cannot stand the heat at all. And so I, I don't think, I don't even know if it's that hot. I know that it was like over 40 degrees of Celsius earlier today, which is like 86 degrees in Fahrenheit for all of you American people. Uh, I'm not quite sure though, but I do think that that's how much it, it's in Fahrenheit. I, I have no idea. I'm not the best at converting stuff. But I could just talk about how much I despise the heat, like, for hours, because I just do. I cannot stand it at all. Like, if I'm exposed to the sun when it's extremely hot, you best believe I'm gonna lose my mind at one point. Like, a perfect example could be me on vacation, like, these past few days. The whole weekend, like, on Monday and Tuesday, it was just it, so hot. Like, I could, and I cannot stand the heat. Well, we already know that. But, um, yeah, like, whenever I was exposed to the center for, like, longer than an hour, um, I would just pass out <laughs> once I got back to our airbnb like it it was just oh my god don't get me started the only thing that would literally help me recover was a shower and i'd have to take it every three hours <laughs> um so yeah whenever it's like really hot i recommend you stay inside 
and if you don't have an AC, then go to your car and spend the rest of your day there because it, it's literally so hot. And like you may be wondering why I did I just didn't stay like gather yeah, Airbnb um, and everything. Well, I could have, but the bad thing is is that our Airbnb was like on the last floor, and so we didn't even have an AC because in Lithuania um, it doesn't really get hot like that hot like during summers it does yes, but like it's mainly cold throughout the whole year. So like. There's n really a lot of people just choose to not have an AC for like three months of the whole year. Uh, people just use radiators here. That's like literally the only thing that people really have. It's like really rare to find someone with like an actual AC. Um, and I guess like it's different everywhere. But um, yeah, I don't know. When it comes to coping with the heat in Lithuania, it's really bad. Uh, <laughs> at least for me, I guess everyone handles the heat differently, but like I just cannot stand it at all. So like even today, it's pretty hot, but I'm glad to be home. It's not as hot here, so that's a good thing. But um, yeah, here's that like seating area that I was talking about that was blue. Like I just love this whole furniture set, so I decided to recreate it from Pinterest and I really, I don't know, I really like the final outcome. I think the whole kettle and everything, like, I, I just, I, I just like this area a lot, and I'm glad that I somehow made this whole thing functional. And the whole furniture, it's like very mid-century, and what I realize is that I'm, I'm, I'm really into mid-century furniture. Like, I just love it. Like, different, uh, console tables or dressers, like, mid-century dressers are amazing, and they all look so nice. It's just, it's just that period of time. It had so much nice furniture, like, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going about the same thing for like a minute, but, um... But yeah, I think I'm starting to work on the second seating area, I think this. Um, whole backyard has one dining area, like a very big one, so you can definitely host parties here if you do copy the speed build and everything. I think this is like the perfect place for like a very famous person or something you know because like they have so much space to entertain it's like their perfect summer house you know this so is like a like a house a famous interior designer would have or like a celebrity from LA something like that you know you know what I mean you know the vibe I'm talking about I don't know I really hope it gives off that vibe to you guys as well um but yeah, I don't know, this chair, wow. <laughs> it took me a while to get the um, armrest right, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like if I had a possibility to make like blocks for CC, I feel like I would. It's kind of fun. But, like, if only it was from like Bloxburg Structurals. Because <laughs> if, if it's modeling, like, that's too much work. I'm like, modeling is, it's, it's, it's scary. <laughs> it's scary. Um, like just getting the right dimensions, dimensions and everything. And if you mess up, you literally have to redo the whole thing. That's one thing I learned from my architecture classes when working with like drafting programs and whatnot. Um, like AutoCAD, I think that if you, or we know, I think it was AutoCAD and something else. And I'm pretty sure that if you mess up on those programs, it's very hard to get back to your original point. Or maybe it's not like that with AutoCAD. I have no idea. I, I forgot, okay? <laughs> My last class uh, wasn't like May, like the middle of May. So it's been a while. It's been like a month and a half. But yeah, uh, oh my god, what I forgot to mention is like I'm finally off of school. It's, I'm, I'm on my summer break and I've been on my summer break. I think this is the second week of it. And I've been having a really good time. I can tell you that. I've been enjoying my summer break quite a lot. I uh, wish it lasted forever. <laughs> but things don't last forever, which is, yeah, unfortunate. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm just trying to make the most of it. I'm trying to enjoy it, trying to have fun. And I hope that all of you who are in your summer break as well are doing the same. Uh, it's best to not waste your time and maybe do something productive so you don't regret not doing anything, you know. And yeah, I don't know. My just my plan for the summer break was just to get back into YouTube in general. 
and I will try my best to do that. I'm just, I don't know, the only, I'm, I'm looking forward to building, I suppose. Um, really scared to see how it goes, but at the same time, I'm kind of just looking forward to it, like, yeah. No, oh, I remember having a really hard time, like, just trying to find the right layout for this place. Um, kind of happy with the final outcome, I suppose. It's not bad, definitely not. Um, yeah. And then I made these custom trees, like, literally working on them right now. And they were by my friend Jordan. Uh, you guys may know him as... Shere uh, from the mom community or oh my god I cannot pronounce that username <laughs> I linked in the description if you guys want to see his twitter I highly recommend you do so he's a very good builder he makes a lot of these high-end houses that celebrities would have since he's like RPing as a celebrity so it's just like if you're looking for some inspiration I highly recommend you go to his profile maybe look for some, it's just he's a pretty good builder overall, so if you're looking for some high-end houses, I highly recommend you go look at his stuff. It's really, really good. But right now, I'm just like looking at this whole speed build, and I'm like thinking, like I still can't believe that I actually ended up working on the chateau. Like it's so out of my comfort zone, and like you guys know me, how I'm so into building suburban houses and like modern farm homes. Like that's my thing, you know? This isn't my thing at all. Like, I guess I kind of did enjoy working on something out of my comfort zone. Like, I definitely enjoy working on new projects, and I kind of want to get into the modern style as well. I have a few plans for the summer in general. Um, I want to build, like, I want to build everything, you know what I mean? It's just, it's weird, but, like, obviously there's not enough time to build everything, and it's just my projects take way longer than average, and I can't just sit down and build a bit, like, and make something in a day. My projects take, like, a week each, and I don't know. I guess it's, again, it's a blessing and a curse because, I mean, it takes ages, but like in the end, it's usually worth it. But I, I mean, I guess the sad thing is, is that I don't play in these houses myself. I usually kind of just put them out so you guys could copy them and play in them yourselves. And so, I don't know, like, I guess like the whole thing of being the inter like an interior designer, I want to, I really want to be one because I love seeing people like play or like live in my spaces that I created like it's weird seeing like it's not weird it's so it's so it's such a good feeling when you know that like someone lives in the space that you created like it's just like you love seeing life um in your own creations you know so it's like I just love building for other people I don't know I guess I could get into the whole like what I've been doing on the sims lately so I got the interior decorator pack, it came out like basically a month ago uh, in The Sims and what you do is basically you're an interior designer. And you can hear bird birds outside, very fun, hello, hello birds. <laughs> but um, yeah, so uh, you, you're basically like an interior designer and you come over and you ask your clients different questions, their preferences, what colors they like, you find out what colors they dislike, or maybe what interior styles they like or dislike, um, what they're into, what they're not into, stuff like that. And then you furnish a, a, a space according to the information you got. And so, I don't know, I'm pretty sure I've furnished around 10 spaces and I absolutely love that pack. Like, I just love the whole idea of being an interior designer. And I realized that, that like, I just enjoy seeing clients' reactions and, like, the satisfaction they get once they actually like what you create. And, like, that's why I kind of, like, like building for my friends on Bloxburg as well. It's like seeing their reaction after I finish a project, after I finish their house and stuff. Like, it's just, it's so... It's such a nice feeling, like I just, I don't know, I can't really find the right word right now because I'm not the best at describing things, but yeah, it's just, just it's, it's a really good feeling and I love, you know, just like, you know, showing things to my friends and whatnot. Um, so I guess that's why I like, kind of want to be an interior decorator, like I just love the whole reaction part and like, you know, the satisfaction you get from, you know, helping people with their spaces and you know where they live and stuff I don't know that's why I kind of do enjoy building for friends in Bloxburg because like I don't know it just feels so good when they like what you do or what you did to their place I hope I'm explaining myself right but yeah I realized that this 
table, the one that I was talking about earlier, the, the dining space, it can fit literally 12 people, which is insane. That's like so much. That's like two families, basically, even three. You can even fit three families in here on this table. So if you got like a big family to feed, does this house for you? Actually, no, never mind, <laughs> because it only has like three bedrooms. I guess the vision I have for this, like, the fam, like, the family who owns this house is that, like, it's just, like, an old couple who lived in the city, like, you know, their 30s and 40s who have decided to just move to the countryside where it's more calm and more peaceful, and, yeah, they have, like, their uh, kids come over sometimes, so they have, like, an extra guest bedroom there, and then... They also have like a like a kid's bedroom for their granddaughter. And so I, this is the vision I have, I suppose. Um, like I mean, it's just it's it's such an old money house, old money. I hope you guys know what old money is. It's like um, oh, just like two types of money. So like new money is just like money that's been like recently made. Like um, a perfect example of like new money like a new money owner is like elon musk you know he got his money recently it's not like it was passed for generations and that's exactly what old money is is like you know money has been passed through generations and yeah it's just like new money tends to be spent really quickly while old money just stays for a long time and like yeah this is like such an old money house of like it looks like something uh, your grandpa bought, I don't know, like, like a hundred years ago, um, and like you inherited it, you know? So it's like, and then you, you, and then your kids inherit it. It's like a never-ending cycle, you know? It's like this property just keeps on getting passed on to other generations and stuff. And, um, yeah, I, I just kind of like, French chateaus, they're actually like really cool. Uh, I was also like thinking of maybe even building like a villa on Lake Como in the future. It's like a similar type of a house, but like it's in Italy. I mean, it's not like, it, it's just the vibe that these two house styles give off. It's like kind of similar, but they're different. You know what I mean? So if you don't know what those look like, I highly recommend you look those up and let me know if you'd like to see me make something like this. I feel like that would be a, a big project that would probably take me a while, but um, you know. As I like to say, these projects that do take ages are usually worth it, like usually end up being worth it. Um, you can see me now working on this tiny little garden behind the greenhouse. Oh my god, the greenhouse is also one of my favorite rooms. I mean, yeah, it is a room. One of my favorite rooms in the whole property, in the whole compound. But um, I'll talk about the greenhouse once I actually get to it in the speed build, which will probably be in the next part. But I'm slowly finishing up with um the outside yeah i am i'm pretty sure this garden's gonna be the last part that you'll see and then you'll see me moving on to the stairs in the foyer um which yeah i'll talk about once we get to it um but yeah oh look i'm literally just <laughs> i literally just finished with the garden area I just got to the staircase, but not the point. I guess I have one last thing that I can talk about in this voiceover. I think I might keep that story that I was talking about earlier today um, for the next voiceover, because it is a pretty eventful story. But I feel like I should keep you guys updated with the city build that I was talking about. I really, really don't want to reveal the city yet. Um, and if there's anyone watching who knows, I'm pretty sure Lazar knows, and I know that he watches most of these voiceovers. So Lazar, <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, so the, with the city, I didn't really get that much progress done. I started working on one of the landmarks. Um, and um, I mean, I basically just start working on it. There's not that much done. Obviously, I'm trying to keep it as detailed and as accurate as possible. Um, I do want to recreate it as best as I can, and I'm trying to do that <laughs> so badly. And so, yeah, I just really hope that the whole city build goes well. But um, I, the reason why I really couldn't work on it that much was because my friend asked me to help them with a hotel. 
um and so i've been working on that hotel quite a lot but um i guess like that hotel is going to be kind of exciting because uh as many of you may know there's actually kind of like a very exciting event happening soon in the rope in the blossberg community when it comes to role players uh so a very well-known role player actually feeberry is gonna get married soon and that hotel may or may, may or may not involve have like have something to do with phoebe's wedding so um i've actually posted like a not a sneak peek rather just like a whole the whole suite of the hotel um i just kind of labeled it as a practice build when in reality really isn't like a practice build like i don't know i just like I like to call builds that, um, how do I say this, that are like, that I didn't record as practice builds, because they technically are, so yeah, you you can find that build on my Twitter as a practice build, um, and it's like a Parisian styled, I named it as like a, like I labeled it as a Parisian styled apartment, which is basically like, it's, it, it's a hotel suite, and that's what it is, but it's like an apartment, it's like a, it's like a one bedroom apartment. So, I don't know, I really, really like that build, to be quite honest with you. Uh, it was like my first time just trying out some new hacks, and I feel like those hacks have definitely changed the way we build in Bloxburg, for sure. So there's like the new, there's there are new ways to do pillows, and like I can't imagine my life without those pillows now. They're, they're just so pretty, it's so nice. Uh, uh, Dez and Flo are kind of geniuses for... Okay, so what happened is Flo was the one person was the one who actually no Des was the one who came up with the hack and kind of Flo made it a bit better. He used different shapes and stuff. You can both you can find that like hack on their Twitter, like just on Twitter in general. Um, it's everywhere. <laughs> but um, yeah, and I'll be using that hack from now on in every speed build of mine. Every speed build, every build is just it makes builds look so much realistic and. There is finally a new way to do uh, the floor decals. Uh, a lot of us were upset in the Bloxburg community for the floor decals, for floor decals getting patched. I remember even doing it in the Hamptons mansion, but sadly uh, it got patched and I had basically had to redo it, which was extremely unfortunate, let me tell you. Uh, but oh well, I guess there's like a new way to do it, and apparently, um, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, um, I actually used that decal hack, um, in that apartment as well, and, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, you can, I'm pretty sure I posted, uh, one of, one of the pictures of that apartment on my Instagram as well. I think I labeled it as, um, LS Parisian Apartment Project, something like that. I don't remember exactly, you can hear some music outside because there's people walking, which is awkward because I, I'm pretty sure they can hear me. But, <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do, uh, and I have to record this voiceover for you guys. But, um, yeah, this whole staircase, good luck to whoever was recreating this, because it's, it's, it's painful. <laughs> it's painful as hell, but I wish you guys the best of luck, you can all do this, and, um, yeah, I mean, the voiceover is nearing the end, um, but, uh, no, I remember just being so sick of this staircase, it, it took me so long to make it work. But eventually, uh, I guess it, it didn't turn out looking that bad. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this was like my first time ever doing like a custom staircase as well, so it was challenging. It was definitely challenging, but um, I don't know, I guess if I were to... Oh, that, that's a dog. <laughs> I guess if I were to make another staircase i'd do it like it definitely isn't something that i really dislike doing to be quite honest with you kind of did like the whole process it was just a tiny tiny bit painful um but um, i don't know custom things custom things are just they're they're difficult to understand because you do enjoy making some things and then you extremely dislike doing some other things it really like i don't know it's 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 um it's interesting <laughs> um but i mean yeah i don't know now that i'm looking at it there were like i I'm, there are certain parts that aren't even with the staircase and that really really bothers me but i'm pretty sure it was just too lazy to fix them <laughs> but hey the railing turned out to look nice in a way i mean i think it looks personally like nice 
uh, I, gu I guess everyone has their own opinions and everything. And um, I had to make this custom doorway apparently because the ones we had in game <laughs> were too big for the staircase. It makes you feel like you feel so small walking through that doorway, but and that's the funniest thing in the world. But you still fit through it, so <laughs> that's. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I guess like when you're building a house like this, you kind of do need a custom staircase because there's really like there isn't a gate like a staircase in the game that would match like a house style like this, you know. I don't know. I guess there are, but they 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 just they don't look that accurate to the real ones. And um, the way I'm doing this staircase is incorrect for now because I'll 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 do it differently in a bit. So I recommend that you wait to do the to do to do the railing. Um, and, um, but yeah, I don't know. I guess I really don't have that much to say. Oh, actually, I do. I mean, there's only like two minutes left to have to be quick. But, um, I've been working on builds in The Sims, and I actually kind of like, I really want to do like a Sims 4 speed build, and I did ask you guys questions whether you'd want to see some Sims 4 content, and surprisingly, not everyone said no. So, uh, I may or may not just do one or two videos of like Sims 4 apartments or something, because I really do enjoy furnishing in The Sims, and I recently furnished a penthouse for my Sim, and I just... That penthouse, it's like my dream apartment, or like dream penthouse, and it's- I- I- I'm honestly willing to do something similar to it again for like a speed build so that I'd be like able to share with you guys and everything. So yeah, I mean, let me know if you'd like to see like a speed build of a Sims 4 apartment or something, just as like a fun video. Um, of course, box for speed builds won't be going away anywhere, but yeah, it's just like something to switch up my content, I guess. Just something to make it more fun for me <laughs> when it comes to making videos. So yeah, let me know, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next voiceover. Thanks for listening to those who did listen. And yeah, uh, expect some more speed builds of this build later on this week. Yeah, bye guys.